Marion Rivera earned praises from fans after her graceful handling of an English please request from Century Tuna Superbods 2024 winner Jetter Paolomo during the competition's finals on July 9, 2024. Despite some netizens mocking her Filipino accent, Marion's response showcased her poise and authenticity. Hello community! Welcome back to our channel! Marion Rivera, very beautiful in red, caught the attention of netizens as she made an unexpected situation entertaining by translating her question from Tagalog to English upon a contestant's request during the Superbods 2024 finals night. Marion Rivera served as one of the celebrity judges at a local beauty and fitness competition sponsored by a popular canned food brand. The Capuso actress began by asking her question in Tagalog during the Q&A portion. However, the male contestant then requested that she translate it to English, as he could not understand Tagalog. Rivera's light-hearted try at translating her question amused the audience, reflecting her natural charm and relatability. She managed the surprise request with both poise and humor, showing once more why she is so well-loved. Hi. Hello. Good evening to you. Good evening. So here's my question. Dumami ang followers mo sa social media nung naging finalist ka. Paano mo gagamitin ang opportunity na ito kahit natapos na ang competition na to? I'm sorry. Could I get English, please? I will try my best. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Woo! Listen very carefully. Here's my question. Your social media following grew when you become a finalist. How would you use this opportunity even after your super bad journey? I think you understand that. <laughs> In the wake of this incident, her husband, Ding Dong Dantes, couldn't be prouder. On Thursday, July 11, 2024, he expressed his admiration for her in a heartfelt social media post. He wrote, which I translate to English as, It wasn't just your outward beauty that shined last night, but also your natural talent for entertaining and stirring the hearts of Filipinos. A round of applause for you, my wife. P.S. No need to translate this in English. I'm sure you guys understand what I mean. Marion responded with love and humor in the comments, Love you Mahal Ko, next time I will call you to translate. Fans quickly rallied to Marion's defense, with many commending her for choosing to speak in her native language. One netizen commented on Ding Dong's post, I don't get why she's being criticized for speaking Tagalog. Not everyone who speaks English is smart. People base everything on accent. Is that now the standard for intelligence? Marion carried herself well and with grace. Red heart emoji. There are people who always love to find the wrong in others. Another supporter echoed this sentiment, writing, I don't get why people criticize Marion just because she's not fluent in English. I admire her for being genuine and choosing to speak in our language. If you watch her interviews, she speaks Tagalog but is very eloquent and articulate. She answers questions with depth and wisdom. Unlike some who just speak English but have nothing meaningful to say. Keep doing you Marion. Don't let the haters bother you. Heart emoji. This incident has sparked a broader conversation among netizens about why some Filipinos look down on those who prefer to speak the Filipino language. Many have pointed out that in other countries, people embrace and take pride in their native languages, while in the Philippines, there seems to be a stigma associated with not speaking English fluently. This mindset undermines the rich cultural heritage of the Philippines and promotes an unfair standard that equates intelligence and competence with the ability to speak English. Marion Rivera, on the other hand, proves to us why she remains beloved for her talent, grace, and authenticity. Her ability to connect with the Filipino audience in her native language reflects her genuine character. Ding Dong's public support reinforces their love and admiration, both on and off screen. In international beauty pageants, the role of English as a requisite for success is debated. While English facilitates global communication, making it mandatory undermines cultural representation and fairness. Ultimately, while English is useful, 
it should not be the sole measure of a contestant's worth. Here's a question for you. If you joined a Philippine pageant, would it be a disadvantage if you chose to answer the Q&A in Filipino? Just like when Miss Universe Pia Wurzbach answered in Filipino very well during the Q&A segment but did not win the Miss Universe Philippines title. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Remember to embrace your uniqueness and strive for greatness. This is Shale of Shaleville Entertainment.